Cold pad batch is a dyeing process used primarily for dyeing cellulosic fibers like cotton, viscose, and their blends. It's a continuous and efficient dyeing method that is carried out at room temperature without the need for high temperatures or pressure. CPB dyeing is known for its reduced energy and water consumption compared to traditional dyeing methods. So, let's jump right in and explore the ins and outs of CPB dyeing. Welcome to the Textile Vlog. Stay with us and enrich your textile knowledge. Pre-treatment. First, the fabric undergoes a pre-treatment process, which includes desizing, scouring, and bleaching to remove impurities, oils, and any sizing agents that might be present on the surface. This ensures better dye penetration and uniform dyeing. Preparation of dye bath. The dye bath is prepared by dissolving the dye and necessary chemicals, such as salt, alkali, and dyeing auxiliaries in water. These chemicals help in promoting dye absorption, leveling, and fixation. It is primarily a cold method where the dyeing temperature is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and use cold to medium brand reactive dyes. Padding. The textile material is then passed through the prepared dye bath in a continuous manner using a padding machine. This machine ensures that the fabric gets saturated with the dye solution evenly and uniformly. The patter effectively forces the dye stuff into the fabric. In this stage, excess dye solution is also removed. Batch formation. The dye saturated fabric is then rolled up into a batch and covered with a protective film or wrapping to prevent drying and to maintain a consistent dyeing environment. This is where the batch aspect of the process comes into play. Aging. The wrapped fabric is allowed to age for a specific period of time. During this time, the dye molecules migrate and diffuse into the fibers due to capillary action, ensuring thorough dye penetration. Aging can take several hours to allow for effective dye migration and fixation. Washing and finishing. After the aging period, the fabric is unwrapped and excess dye is removed by washing. Any unfixed dye is removed from the surface. The fabric is then dried and any necessary finishing steps are carried out. The below fabrics are suitable for CPB dyeing. 100% cotton, linen, cotton plus spandex, linen cotton blend, linen viscose blend, cotton viscose blend. 100% viscose. Advantages of cold pad bat. Dyeing. Energy and water efficiency. CPB dyeing eliminates the need for high temperatures, saving energy and reducing water consumption compared to traditional dyeing methods. Less environmental impact. Since CPB dyeing uses lower temperatures and fewer chemicals, it often results in less pollution and environmental impact. High dye utilization. The slow migration and diffusion of dye molecules during the aging phase help to achieve higher dye utilization and better color fastness. Reduced fabric damage. The absence of high temperatures and pressure reduces the risk of fabric damage, making it suitable for delicate and heat sensitive fibers. However, it's important to note that CPB dyeing might not be suitable for all types of fibers and dyes. Some dyes may not have good migration properties at low temperatures, and certain fibers might not absorb dyes effectively through this process. Additionally, the longer processing times required for aging can be a limitation in terms of production speed. Overall, CPB dyeing is a valuable alternative to traditional dyeing methods, 
especially when environmental concerns and cost efficiency are important factors.